I think that this is working. Are you working? Welcome to my life. So, um, <laughs> I asked everybody what what kind of videos I should be making, and really everybody just said day in the life. So, my next Monday, today, um, I have an interesting day, so I thought I'd share it. So, I just woke up, um, my alarm is set for 5.55, but um, I usually get up around 6.15, 6.30. Um, I have my alarm play classical music that you can probably hear in the background um, and I wake up slowly and I wake up gently and I let the music just kind of wash over me before I wake up because um, I used to have a very harsh alarm that was just like a beep on my iPhone and it was terrible and I would press snooze a million times and I would be exhausted. Um, so I highly recommend it. Um, I also don't use my phone to wake up anymore. I use this cutie little alarm. Let me show you. Boom. Love it. Um, and so now that I'm up, music's going off. Opening my window, gonna walk the dog. I'm gonna water my garden. And then go to the gym. I have a modeling call at 10 a.m. at the Trump Hotel, um, which I don't have anything to say about that. Um, other than yay modeling job. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. I also wanted to acknowledge that I broke out this weekend hormonally. You can see that I have one cystic spot here and um, one that uh, was a little bit irritated. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to cover up these spots for today and I also feel a little bit puffy. Um, so I'm gonna be doing, you know, putting uh, some coldness on my face and doing a little facial massage before I leave the house today um, and before I do my makeup. Yeah, so here we go, walking the dog. Wally, you wanna go outside? Oh yeah, look at that tail. I love you, let's go. favorite mug for breakfast I'm gonna have some chia pudding and blueberries and these are the ingredients if I have a lot of life force in the morning I always try to get some nature time in and I love this time of year because with the winds and the tall grasses it's just like so so beautiful so what time is it it's 7 23 I'm gonna water my garden also too I had my morning and it was glorious and I always find that a brisk walk outdoors makes it happen so here we go who is she it's me Emma um, I put makeup on I showered I am about to hop in my lift um, I packed a bag it's got high heels low heels a change um, of clothes, a mini dress in case it's too hot, um, and some foundation in case I need to touch up after wearing a mask in my lift. Um, yeah, I tried to bring a nice looking bag so that it goes with like the all black ensemble. And um, I'm excited, get my hair cut. Anthony Cristiano, I think is his name. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Dark. 
we go. Oh, so the haircut went great. I love it. Yeah, it was a really positive experience. Like the hairstylist was just super inspiring. He did a master class with my haircut on a Zoom call with a bunch of other stylists. And he talked about his career and his experience. And um, it was just really wonderful. You know, he talked about the importance of treating your client with kindness. And, you know, when your client changes their style, they're opening up a whole new part of their life and bringing your passion as a hairstylist to the person in the chair is like what life's all about. And then he talked about how all the hard work that he's put into his career. And it was just like overwhelmingly a positive experience. So I'm really glad that I went, even though all my demons were talking to me this morning, telling me I was puffy and old and all these things because it turned out great and um, instead of going straight home I decided to pick up some lunch um, at my favorite spot called Diana's in Chicago and um, I got a knuckle sandwich and some sweet fried plantains and the rest of the day I'm going to be working from home and then I have therapy and then I'm going to start learning um, a new opera role. So, I'm going to dig into this stuff. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm. Cheers. I had lunch. I took a nap. I've been working for a couple hours. And um, I set up my mic. So, I'm going to try this whole scootily do is it recording? And let's see, does that does that work? I'm not really sure. And the rest of the day, uh, I'm picking up my husband from the airport and I'm also going to be cleaning the house before he comes and working on a new show. Um, this is the Tales of Hoffman and I'm playing Niklaus, which is a very, very cool role. And, you know, I got this score last year, last summer, when we were supposed to perform it, and then the pandemic happened. So there's really no excuse for me to be starting it this late. I've had a full year. But, you know, the pandemic was really, really hard on me mentally, and I just didn't have the life force to look at, you know, a piece that I was so excited about. Um, not knowing whether or not it would happen. Um, I also tend to not learn music unless there's a hard and fast deadline. So when the show got moved into the tentative category, I stopped learning. And then when it was canceled for the year, I just put the score away. So I'm going to be spending the rest of my evening, you know, cleaning, getting the house ready, picking up Ian, learning some music. And that is a day in my life. And today is a prime example of like the life that I've built for myself so far. I'm modeling in the morning, I'm working in the afternoon, and then I am spending the evening at home practicing. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Tomorrow I work all day in office, and then I have a private German lesson online. Wednesday I work all day in office and then I have drinks with a friend and then Thursday and Friday I work from home in the morning and then I'm giving two performances with the Lyric Opera of Chicago in their production of Hansel and Gretel in the Park. It has been a true joy. I play the Sandman and being with my castmates again and just being around the music again and just standing backstage in the woods with people, even just being around them physically and not even interacting on like a more complicated level. It's just soothing for me. Um, so yeah, that's my day in the life. I'm, this is a, obviously a work in progress. I'm very, very much doing this on the fly to learn. And um, I'd love any comments that you might have. I'd love, you know, Draw me a line. I want to get to know you. I also want to make more singing videos because that's my passion. So now that the mic is set up and hopefully this works, hopefully this works. Thank you. And I hope that you have 
a great week as well. I don't know how to sign off. I guess I need to, I need to pick catchphrases for before and after my video. That is yet to come from my little studio into your computer, into your brain.